Hi Cancer, welcome to SelfQuest. My name is Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome in if you're new. So I have to say this is a very cool week. I told you last week we had that full moon in Aquarius at 1 degrees. In two weeks we're going to have another full moon in Aquarius at 29 degrees. So in between that sandwich is a new moon in Leo, right in the middle of Leo season. And I have to tell you, it's cool because it's at Lionsgate. 8-8 eight, eight is called Lionsgate. So what is that? Well, Lionsgate is when the star Sirius, one of the brightest stars in the sky, um, they call it the spiritual sun of our galaxy. And I have to say, it is when it's in alignment with the earth and the sun. Right? It goes back in lore for thousands and thousands of years from the transfiguration of Christ uh, back to the Egyptians because that is when the, the pyramids of Giza are all in alignment with the belt, with Orion's belt. Right? So super cool. And if you're an astrology or an astronomy buff, I think you'll find that very cool. I know I always have. All right, so Lionsgate is an important time. We definitely have more ionic energy. We, our third eye opens. We really take in a lot. We dream a lot. It's light codes coming in, and it's just a very special time, a very special feeling in the air. And when you think about Leo itself, the fifth house of Leo in the natural zodiac, being the house of romance and the house of children and play and the sun, authenticity, shining out, right? Being seen and heard, it very much is about us being our true selves, our authentic and best self. And then, of course, when we're in the shadow of Leo, then we're at our worst, right? The worst of our ego. And we can be, you know, having some of the ego issues that come up, triggers. So we all have both. We all have light and shadow. So that can happen for all of us, of course. But Cancer is just an auspicious and cool time. So letting you know, cool, cool new moon on the 8th. That's at the end of the week, all right? We also do have uh, Jupiter that retrograded back into Aquarius. And I'm sorry, that a couple, few fell out. I got to pull just one. <laughs> um, which really does help us to make the change. Again, a whole pack. Um, make the changes in our lives that we need, right? Jupiter is the expander and, you know, it's very much about our beliefs and allowing our mind, body, spirit, awareness, our alignment to kind of get right so that we can accept the changes as they happen because there are so many changes happening across the planet. Started last year in 2020, obviously in 2021, we've had three config, we will have three configurations where it's a big shock and awe switch up and change of things. Because the planet Uranus, Uranus does that, right? All right, Cancer, enough of me babbling. Let's pull you a card from the Sacred Rebels, which I picked because Uranus is so important right now in that Uranus sandwich, which is, of course, Aquarius. It rules Aquarius. So between two Aquarian full moons, Uranus, the planet of shock, awe, rebelliousness, change, innovation, and genius, I thought the perfect deck would be this deck. And that is the Sacred Rebels. So, are you a rebel with a cause? Because this is the time for it. We're also going to use the Fenestra Tarot by Shatria. It is a beautiful deck. So let me pull one now, and I'm going to read a little bit from the book of the Sacred Rebels guidebook. Is this just one? Yes! <laughs> okay. It is Power of Attraction. Well, isn't this perfect in Leo season right now? Cancer, I love that for you. So we just came out of your season, Cancer, your solar return time, and this is when energy comes in to move you forward, and with the power of attraction and a new moon in Leo, what a good time to practice the law of attraction, right? It is. It's an excellent time for that, and we're going to read about that in just a second. All right. So Leo is actually, for you, Cancer, your second house. This could be about attracting in a new job finances, some money coming in that's owed, things like that. That's possible for you. All right. It could just be also that because, you know, the second house, you know, very often it's just things we value. So it's just, it might be just a, be a time when you're drawing into yourself things that make you feel awesome, really great, you know? All right, so we're going to pull nine. 
Settle in with me now, Cancer. All right, let's take three deep breaths. I forgot to cut. Okay, let's cut the deck. Three deep breaths with me. Let's bring down the cortisol. Drop the feet onto the floor. <sighs> drop the shoulders and relax a bit. All right, and take a look at what we've got here. Some of you may know I am in the Boca region of South Florida, so if you're hearing some Florida storm happening in, in the background, that's what's going on right now, a little lightning. All right. Well, you have a beautiful card right here in the center of your reading today. I love that for you very much, Cancer. And two auspicious aces. New beginning, new moon. Love it. With justice on the bottom, yeah, something owed to you. I think I said that, didn't I? Something that's owed to you might come in with justice. I'm seeing that. Interesting. Yeah, you might hear information that you're moving forward on something that is just right for you. It's meant for you, is what I want to say. Whatever's coming in is meant for you, and most especially with the power of attraction. So let's read that. Okay, power of attraction number 13. Oh my God, I almost opened right to it. Okay, power of attraction. There is such wonder awaiting you. There are so many beautiful adventures and so much magic yet to be. Can you keep your heart open to what's coming towards you without surrendering your experience of this moment by becoming too future oriented, right? It's like you want to stay in the now and you want to stay present for sure because that's the only when we're, that's when we're really awake and we can really sit in the seat of gratitude, right? But the planet Uranus does make us think of the future. Right? Those two Aquarian moon, full moons are helping us to put a closure on something so, and helping us move forward toward the future. Alright, so there is something arising within you, out of the depths of your being. In this process, there's a shift in environment, both internal and external. A fertility is being stimulated within you. Okay, so for some of you, you might want to open your eyes, open your ears on that if you are looking <laughs> to be fertile right now. This is your time to play with that fertility. Something's growing though, whatever it is. To conceive, create, and embark upon the process of transformation with an open heart and mind. You may not know where it's all going to lead. All you need to know is that it will be wonderful and exactly perfectly what is needed for you in your life. Beyond that, allow the energy of fertile growth and abundance that now flows so naturally and richly within you and around you simply to be. Just allow it to be. You are a big soul and with that often comes big dreams. You might worry that you want too much out of life. Perhaps you think that you're only capable of small dreams. If you have drawn the oracle of Big Bold Vision as well, then this is part of the message that's highlighted for you. Well, we are having big, bold vision right now, aren't we, with Aquarius? So I think that applies. It's guiding you to remember that there are stages to creation. A house cannot be built without the flooring. No matter how beautiful the stained glass windows you plan to install, the walls need to go up first. Your big life dreams are a work in progress, just like you. I love that. Okay. So right now, Cancer, you are shining your light, that solar plexus energy, right now during Lionsgate. A new moon is a new beginning, and you've got two aces on, on the table. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, something you want putting into action. So whatever it is that you are trying to attract into your life, and it could be a thousand things. Some of you may want to, feed, to bring in more stable Finances, for sure, I'm seeing that. But more than that, I think it's like accomplishing something. Like an actual feeling of accomplishment. Like you've learned something new. You know what I mean? Like challenging yourself to do something that's maybe a little scary or a little difficult and then doing it and just feeling like so great about yourself because you took a shot. Because you were brave and bold and... I think you're trying to energize yourself. I think you may have been very, very 
tired and kind of just done with the stuckness that you've been in. If you've been in a little bit of a mental funk where it's like, oh, I do the same thing every day and life's gotten a little stale, then you are definitely going down a new road and starting something new. Okay, so that's kind of the big picture of what I'm looking at. But whatever it is, justice is here for you. So whatever needs to be taken care of will be and right will be done. What is right will be done. Things will be righted. Okay, Cancer, if you need to hear that. Let's go across the horizontal, then we're going to go vertical and big picture. You have the Queen of Swords. This is when you know. There's just something, you just know it. You would know it in your bones. You would know it in your intuition. You know it in your intellect. And you are able to establish, because you know, because you have an inner wisdom, yin energy of thinking, you have an inner wisdom about something that you've learned or wanted to learn. So this is you challenging yourself to learn something new because same old, same old isn't going to work anymore. This is like when you thought something to death, the Ten of Swords. It's when you thought something to death. It's like, I don't want to keep thinking the same thoughts, doing the same thing, feeling the same way. This is somebody who's changing their mind and, and taking in new information. You've learned something. Now, for some of you, you may have gotten some disappointing news about somebody and that also may have hurt you. Okay? That's possible. But what, whatever's going on with that, if it's a relationship and someone said something, for example, because the swords can also be the tongue, right? It's our intellect, the way we think, but it's also how we express ourselves. So if someone said something that really did hurt you and you're like, I'm done, <laughs> something like that, because the Queen of Swords has boundaries, she knows herself very well, um, and the sword, of course, is her truth. She is the queen of all four queens. She's the one who can speak her truth without any hesitation, okay? That's <laughs> ironic the way I just said that, without any Wait for it. Hesitation. <laughs> I correct myself. Okay, so next line, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, the beautiful life you're looking to live, the world. Something here is being accomplished. Number one, this is financial abundance and accomplishment. Coming full circle on something, the world is the last card in the major arcana, and with the next to the Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, you're sitting on top of the world when it comes to something here. In your real life, you've accomplished something really cool, or will be very soon. And it, it might have something to do with going somewhere. So say you you get some out of the blue, it's like you get a check from the government, or you get something, a grant, a loan, something, with the justice card on the bottom of the deck, which enables you financially to take a trip somewhere in the world that you want to go, you know, and see somewhere. It's just the Two of Wands is an opportunity to go on a new path. And next to the World card, it can be world travel, right? So some of you are certainly going to be spending a good amount of money to take a vacation or go perhaps somewhere across the world. It just can be distance, traveling a good distance. Um, and maybe at first, it's like you make the decision, but then you get information, something, and you're disappointed right away. Like, say you're trying to book a, a trip. Let's just say you're going to book a cabin somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, let's just say. And you find the perfect cabin, but then you get the news that cabin is booked for the time you need it. So there, there might be news for some of you coming in that's disappointing. Um... But then you, you're fine. It's like you make peace about it and you're like the new one, whatever you get, the new choice, the new thing, the new trip, the new place you're going um, is perfect, right? Temperance is when we're helped by the angels. It's just like bringing things together to, to have peace and balance. Everything's cool, right? So I think... By the end of the week, if you do get bad news in the beginning of the week, at the end of the week, I think good news, okay, firstly. 
if it has anything whatsoever to do with traveling. Number one, power of attraction also can be very much about shining out to the point where you're, you're actually so magnetic that something just good comes into you. It, it might feel like something just drops out of the sky, Cancer. And it could be something you didn't expect, but it looks beautiful, whatever it is. Let's go down the vertical. Queen of Swords, she knows, right? Very intuitive, and she has boundaries. Whatever it is, it's something very abundant and very good, and it's going to bring peace and healing, temperance, so everything will be back into balance. If this is something that was spoken or something that you're hearing, something that you've come to know about that has to do with family or family money, uh, peace and healing will happen with the temperance card. These two are major arcana, and so that could be a pivot moment that's important. Uh, so I definitely see peace and healing for the family. It can also be bringing your finances into balance as well. So healing sort of financial issues and maybe having an idea about how to do that. All right, so this is information coming in or learning something that brings you full circle. It's an accomplishment and then a new beginning. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, and then you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So it's an auspicious time for finances with a new moon in Leo for you, Cancer, because Leo is your second house of finances. If you're looking for a job, bam, here it is. Is it going to be a good salary with Ten of Pentacles than the world? I would say yes. Um, all right, Cancer, and then let's go down the last vertical. We have the Ten of Swords. You're done thinking about something. You're done, you're done with something. It's like, I, I, can't, I can't think about this anymore. So if you're changing jobs, it's because the communication, lines of communication maybe, and the old job wasn't really great. Yeah, I'm hearing, what I'm hearing in my head is like, um, chain of command. That's what I just heard in my head. So if the sort of chain of command from the bosses down to the employees wasn't great, and it was just like bad, not great communication, that will change, you have a new path with this, and this will be a new job that you'll want, okay? Because this is a very real new thing coming in that you definitely will be excited about and that you want. And because I am, like again, seeing the justice on the bottom of the deck for you, Cancer, I want to say that you could be signing contracts, right? Agreements. This could be about family money, okay? Contracts and the law because the justice card is very much the legal system as well and of course the scales of justice so uh, could be any of those things for you but I'm certainly also seeing travel and if you're worried about having enough money to take a trip I think that you will be able to do it something new something will come in for you um, even if at first you're a little disappointed that something isn't gonna happen the way you thought Uranus is, you know, between two full moons and Aquarius, it's surprising. These are surprising times, okay? So Cancer, just put it out there. Put it out there, attract it to you, because, wowzers, this looks really good. Whether it's job, finances, or some trip, it looks really good. And I wish you kindness, reverence, and gratitude. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and click the bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and if you're looking for sun, moon, rising, or maintenance sign readings, you can go to my weekly readings playlist, okay? Thanks, I'll talk to you next week. I'll be right here for you. Bye, Cancer.